Okay, let's start. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Before we begin our show this evening, let us begin with a prayer. Let us now put ourselves in the holy presence of God. In nomine Patris et Fili et Spiriti Sancti. Amen. So our fellow H&I members and everyone, here now is the prayer for the protection for Hans Inclusion PH. God our Father, we implore you to us for the enlightenment and rescue a repentant success of the organization Hands in Inclusion Filipinas. We ask for the repentance of the group from the false judgments of other people, including its former members, Rescue us from false sense of power and deliver us from the lesson of revenge that comes from the devil. Keep us in putting God first whatever is the religion of their core team, including the founder, while being inclusive to all those who are in need of inclusion, especially persons with disabilities, LGBTQI+, people confused with their gender, ethnic groups, and poorest of the poor whom you also love. Help us to stop ourselves from manipulation of other people and resorting to unjust grudge, conspiracy, and violence, which might affect the people they are trying to serve. We beg for its founder and his core team to be enlightened to see the lies behind the false doctrines and impure and violent motives of the false accusations we make and believe, and open the eyes to the truth of the pride that he holds. Help us humble ourselves, O Lord. Help us to realize that fear, envy, anger, and unforgiveness comes from Satan, and he may he stop whatever pride that he is holding. Please allow us to know ourselves a child of God. We also pray for those people who are blamed by Hans Inclusion Filipinas to repent from the sins they are guilty of without resorting or believing in any false accusations made by either them or any enemy they encounter. Forgive us from our accusations in any form and from all the wrong timings. In your eyes, the organization did. This we ask in your name. Amen. Our Lady, help of the sick, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Saint Rock, pray for us. Saint Lorenzo Ruiz, pray for us. Saint Pedro Alonso, pray for us. Saint Claire of Montefalco, pray for us. Saint John the Baptist, pray for us. Our Lady, help of all Christians, intercede for us. Saint Monica. Pray for us and our family and friends. Saint Augustine, pray for us and our family and our friends. Saint Michael the Archangel, Saint Benedict, Pope Saint Peter the Tenth, and Pope Saint John Paul the Second, rescue us from our unintended wrongdoings. God the Holy Spirit, have mercy and change the heart of everyone. All organizations and all the people who formerly work with the organization who made terrible mistakes, and those the people who took part in the conspiracy to false accuse anyone and hands in a crucial. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us from our trespasses. As we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are thou amongst women and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Glory, Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall.
of uh, the world without end. Amen. The Apostles' Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, His only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, and was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into heaven. On the third day, he rose again from the dead, and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. In nomine Patris, et Fili, et Spiriti Santi. Amen. Thank you, God. Salamat sa Diyos. The, the words we pick it up on to do COVID-19. This is... Ang mga pananaw at opinion ng pag-uulat ng mag-uulat sa programang ito ay hindi ang pangunahing posisyon o payag ng pamunuan ng organisasyong ito. The views and opinions expressed in this live report are those of the presenter and do not necessarily reflect the official policy or position of the management of this organization. Okay, good evening ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the Inclusive Report. Today is Thursday, April 8, 2021. I'm your host, Carlos Miguel Canahashi, and we are broadcasting simultaneously on the new Inclu Radio, Facebook page, and the Hands in Inclusion Philippines YouTube channel. We will begin our show with our daily verse for today. This is from Proverbs chapter 29, verse 35. Verse 25. Fear of man will prove to be a snare, but whoever trusts in the Lord is kept safe. We will begin our topic proper in just a moment, and we will be back after these commercials. Now this.
Okay, welcome back to the Inclusive Report. Okay, this evening we will discuss about autism and social skills. Many children and adults on the autism spectrum need help in learning how to act in different types of social, social situations. They often have the desire to interact with others but may not know how to engage friends or may be overwhelmed by the idea of new experiences. Building up social skills with practice can help enhance participation in the community and support outcomes like happiness and friendships. We have compiled social skills tips and information from experts, teachers, and families along with useful tools to help enhance opportunities to be part of the community. What are social skills? Social skills are the rules, customs, and abilities that guide our interactions with other people and the world around us. In general, people tend to pick up social skills in the same way they learn language skills, naturally and easily. Over time, they build a social map on, of how to enact in situations and with others. For people with autism, it can be harder to learn and build up these skills, forcing them to guess what the social map should look like. Social skills development for people with autism involves direct or explicit instruction and teachable movements with practice in realistic settings. Focus on timing and attention. Support for enhancing communication and sensory integration. Learning behaviors that predict important social outcomes like friendship and happiness and a way to build up cognitive and language skills. Who can teach social skills? There are many social skills to learn. So many people, so rather so many different people, will teach them in different settings, at home, school, and in the community. A special education teacher, speech pathologist, or other clinician may need a social skills group that combines direct, explicit instruction and opportunities to practice and generalize these skills 
and more natural environment. This means real life practice with peers. Other professionals that support social skills include occupational therapists, behavioral therapists, school psychologists, general education teachers, help and PE teachers, and many other director staff. Social skills groups offer an opportunity for people with autism of all ages to practice their social skills with each other and our typical peers on a regular basis. Many groups follow commercially available social skills curricula. A review of five studies on social skills groups by researchers at the University of Utah and the University of California Davis MIND Institute helped identify what makes an effective social skills group. Effective social skills groups should provide structure and predictability, break down abstract social concepts into concrete actions, simplify language and group children by language level. Work in pairs or groups with cooperation and partnership and courage. Provide multiple and varied learning opportunities. Foster self-awareness and self-esteem. Provide opportunities for practice so that skills are used beyond the group in real-life settings. Using personal, personalized teaching stories. People with autism benefit from having information presented visually such as a chart, a booklet, or, a, or an electronic device. Using personalized teaching stories provides a visual aid for people with autism to know what to expect in different situations and to learn what is expected of them in these situations. Through pictures and simple language, these stories can make everyday social situations more predictable for people with autism as well as giving them strategies for navigating these situations more effectively. One of the core aspects of autism spectrum disorder is social dysfunction. This can manifest in the range of behaviors from complete, completely avoiding any sort of personal interaction at all to completely monopolizing conversations on a single topic that nobody other than the person speaking seems to be very interested in. There is no fixed pattern to social dysfunction. But it's almost always one of the major identifiers of autism spectrum disorder and often the one that stands out the most when interacting with someone on the spectrum. For high functioning autistic individuals, these social skills, the, these social skills deficits can be so minor as to be almost entirely unnoticeable in casual conversation. People with eight high functioning autism from only adopt coping methods or have the ability to acquire social social skills to fit in better. They are often able with proper training to make significant progress in social interactions. Not the, nonetheless, at some level, even high-functioning autistics almost always struggle with some discomfort or ineptitude in social interactions. Low-functioning autistics will almost always have immediate and obvious difficulties in social interactions. However, they have an advantage over High-functioning autism individuals in that they are often more inwardly focused and have less anxiety about their inability to fit into common social situations. Although they also benefit from ABA therapy aimed at improving social skills, they will always struggle with noticeable deficits and will likely always find it nearly impossible to fit completely into common social situations naturally. All of these social skills problems are rooted in some of the basic elements of autism spectrum disorder. Delays and difficulty in acquiring verbal communication skills. The ability to read nonverbal communication cues, repetitive or obsessive behaviors and insistence on an adherence to fixed routine, overwhelming sensory inputs. These combinations of traits made it enormously difficult for ASD patients to acquire the basic social skills that most of us take for granted. This deficit is often misread as a desire to avoid people or social situations, but that couldn't be further from the truth. Most individuals with ASD badly want to interact with others. They simply don't have the skill set to do so easily. This, in turn, 
can breed frustration that only fuels the fire. We all on the spectrum may have outbursts and throw tantrums or express themselves inappropriately in social contexts, essentially as a result of boiling over at their difficulty to either understand their PAs in a social situation or make themselves understood to others. At the opposite end of the spectrum, but equally rooted in social skills deficits, some with autism spectrum disorder are unable to fully grasp their own communication issues and often fail to recognize how their way of communicating can be offensive or make others feel uncomfortable. These types of social missteps manifest in ob ob obliviousness, monopolizing conversations, being unable or unwilling to converse outside particular topic areas are generally shutting out all external stimulus. It's difficult. May typo error. It's difficult to deal with social dysfunction because social skills cover such a broad gamut of activities. These include verbal and nonverbal communication, analytical and inferential skills, sensory perception, understanding of context and social situations. There is a limited research on the outcomes for social skills training, but what exists suggests that it is hampered by a failure to emphasize social skill development and implemented effective, implement, implemented effectively. A 2007 meta-analysis by Indiana University of 55 social skills intervention programs used in school age autism spectrum disorder populations found that they were largely ineffective. Not surprisingly, social skills training that took place when autistic students were segregated from the general student population was far less effective than if it took place in their usual classroom alongside neurotypical kids, as if a study was needed to figure that out. Nonetheless, school programs were found to be more effective than programs offered in other contexts, which suggests that training social skills in social environments, a naturalistic approach often used in ABA therapy shows the most promise. And some therapists have suggested that most ABA therapy aimed at improving social skills simply isn't intense and immersive enough to help patients develop more socially appropriate behavior and abandon bad social habits and responses. As humans, we're all social animals to a greater or lesser degree, so the importance of being able to thrive or at least function in normal social settings is fundamentally key to happiness and a normal human experience. As ABAs work to address things like cognition and communication skills, positive outcomes in these areas are sure to translate to improve social skills and a better quality of life. In summary, it's good for your child with autism spectrum disorder to develop play skills, for example, taking turns in the game or sharing a toy. Conversations, conversation skills, for example, choosing what to talk about or what body language to use. Emotional skills, for example, managing emotions and understanding how others feel. All of these social skills problems are rooted in some of the basic elements of ASD. Delays and difficulty in acquiring verbal communication skills, inability to read nonverbal communication cues, repetitive, repetitive or obsessive behaviors and resistance and adherence to fixed routine. So that's it for our topic proper for this evening. Let us now move on to the announcements part of the show. We have three products available at the Hanson Inclusion online shop. First is the Hanson Inclusion t-shirts. The white colored Hanson Inclusion t-shirts. The small size is 430 pesos. Medium is 440 pesos. Large is 450 pesos. Extra large is 460 pesos with additional 50 pesos with text at the back. For the black colored and inclusion t-shirts, the small size is 450 pesos, medium is 460 pesos, large is 470 pesos, extra large is 480 pesos, 
with additional 50 pesos with tax taba. For the ones in inclusion tote bags, it comes into three sizes. Small, 220 pesos. Medium, 240 pesos. Large, 260 pesos with additional 50 pesos with tax at the back. For these, these colorful, and beautifully designed hands and inclusion stickers. It comes into three variants. We include RES, 250 pesos. Inibig ang mga Pinoy PWDs, 150 pesos. Hand to inclusion is 150 pesos. You may pay via GCash and your pay Maya on this number flashing your screen. 917 Again, that's 0917-701-9684. It will be delivered to you via Tok Tok, Lala Move, Go Go Express, Grab, Mr. Speedy, Philippines, and LBC. So for Tok Tok, Lala Move, Go Go Express, Grab, and Mr. Speedy, Philippines are available in areas under the NCR Plus bubble. NCR, Cavite, Rizal, Laguna, and Bulacan. The rest of the country, it will be delivered to you via LBC. If you want to donate for hands and inclusion, regardless, no matter what, it doesn't really matter if the amount is smaller or larger, then you may do so via GCash in your pay Maya on this number flash in your screen. 0917-701-9684. Again, that's 0917-701-9684. And for those who donated, thank you for your continuous generosity and for your support to Hands in Inclusion. This coming April 10 at 4 p.m., Best Buddies Philippines, led by the Executive Director, Michelle Aventajado, uh, will have um, the management of Best Buddies Philippines We'll have other activities on the 10th. At 4 p.m., the watercolor doodles. 5 p.m. is the World Autism Acceptance Day celebration of Best Buddies Benil, Best Buddies Philippines, and it's in partnership with the One World School. On the 17th of April, 2021, is the Flowing Lines Creative Journaling with Amos and Rico. On April 31, 2021, at 3 p.m., we have the Wellness Wednesday. April 24, 2021 at 4 p.m. is Blast from the Past with the Best Buddies chapter in the La Salle Zobel. And on April 28, 2021 at 7 p.m. is the Best Buddies Philippines Open House. On Saturday, April 10, 2021 at 5 p.m., the La Salle College of St. Minute in collaboration with the Center for Inclusive Education Best Buddies Philippines, Best Buddies Benil, in collaboration with the Benil Red Cross Youth Council and student emissaries, will have the celebration of the World Autism Acceptance Month. It is the Autism Acceptance Concert in partnership with the One World School. It will be held at 5 p.m. on Facebook Live. There will be special performances by Isabella Madero, Paulo Lauron, and Joaquin Aldeguer. This is our live virtual autism acceptance concert and join us advocate for autism inclusivity. So don't miss any of the fun and catch us on Saturday, April 10th on the Best Buddies Benilde Facebook page and at 5 p.m. onwards. Okay, guys, another surprise thing. Are you ready to see the new Incluradio Facebook page? Are you ready to see it? Are you excited to see it? It's now time to see the new Incloradio Facebook page. Are you ready? Here, here's our countdown. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 
three, two, one. Here we go, guys. Here we go. Eto na. Here we go. This is the new Incluradio PH Facebook page. If you want to like this, search us on Facebook, Incluradio PH. For those who did this, thank you for your continuous support to Incluradio. Incloradio, the new Incloradio. You want to follow Hands in Inclusion on our following social media out outlets or platforms? Well, we can follow these. We can follow Hands in Inclusion on social media. You may follow us on Facebook, Hands in Inclusion PH, Instagram and WordPress, Hands in Inclusion PH, Kumu app, Hands in HNI Philippines. And subscribe to our official YouTube channel, Hands in Inclusion Pilipinas. In addition, you may want to follow Inc the new Inclo Radio, Inclo Sports, Inclo Nihan Online Shop, and Inclo Gaming on Facebook and the Inclo Gaming YouTube channel. For those who did this, thank you for your continuous support to Hands in Inclusion. It's now the time for our greetings and shout outs. To our birthday celebrants today, uh, Charles Cobantiat, John Marcos Bartolome, and Michael Panoringan, happy birthday. And uh, to my fellow Hands in Inclusion members, to my, to my family, good evening, hi. To my fellow members in Best Buddies Philippines, Best Buddies Benil and all the Best Buddies chapters throughout the world. And also to my high school and college friends, good evening to you. And to those who are watching, it may be a good morning, good afternoon, or good evening wherever you are in the world. Sana nasa mabuting kalagayan ninyo. Kung hindi, you may use this time to improve your well-being as well. And uh, to Joyce and Sabina Cartel, um, thank you for watching from Ross City Capis. Maayong gabi sa imo. Sa imo. At uh, dagang salamat po sa imong suporta sa bagong Inclo Radio. At, uh, <laughs> at maraming salamat po. Si Josan Sevilla Cortel, may napapanood sa amin. Maraming salamat po. Dagang salamat po. Dagang, dagang salamat at mayong gabi sa imong tanan. Sa Roas, nag may napapanood sa Roas City, sa Capiz, sa May Visayas. Salamat po, salamat po. Sandali lang ha, saglit lang. Okay, hmm, here we go. This year, Hands in Inclusion Philippines is celebrating our fourth anniversary with this theme, Bagong Tapang sa One Inclusion Nation. In English, it is the new taste of One Inclusion Nation. 
So, Hands in Inclusion is a community of volunteers that shares the stories of persons with disabilities and its advocates. As we mark the celebration of the fourth anniversary of this organization, we continue to share stories of persons with disabilities and its advocates in our country and in the world as well. It was all started on March 8, 2017 as Inclusion in Action. It was founded by Roylan Marlang, a self-advocate with autism from Pasay City and a Benilgen alumni as well. And then and, and a few months later, around the three months later, Inclusion in Action became known as Hands in Inclusion, and that is the name that we're using in its present day. Despite all the achievements that we have done for the past four years of the existence of this organization, from uh, IIA becoming Hands in Inclusion, the Inclusion Ako campaign, we also have the new logo in November 2018, um, and the essence of this is Filipino unity. We also have the current logo of Hands in Inclusion. Was this, it was designed by Mike Ambion, the opening of the online shop to the public, we also have the relaunch of Hands in Inclusion in the Rotary Club of Makati, activity of the Association for Adults with Autism Philippines. Da alam namin po yun commercial. We also have the Bazaar in Benilde, uh, where, the, where the founder is the alumni there, and where I currently study. And also, the real the gifts of hands and inclusion from the Hansen inclusion management to Manila Mayor Isko Yorme Yorme Isko Moreno of Manila. We also have the Makabagong Otismo, second dalawang put isa siglo. We had our first song, One Inclusion Nation. We also have the stay at home concert called the Heming Inclusion. We have four interviews on the inclusive report last June and July 2020. We also had our first commercial, our second commercial, One Inclusion Forever. We also have the Inclunihan. We also have the, um, the, the, uh, the unveiling of the merchandise designs of Hands in Inclusion on the 500 day countdown last October 24 last year. We also have the Tinig ng Mga Nawalan version of Hands in Inclusion. The One Inclusion Forever song. We also have the, the webinars of Ateneo Speed and the Psychological Society of Assumption. We also have the unveil of the fourth anniversary logo commemorating the 500th year of Christianity in the Philippines. We also have the uh, webinars this year. We have the autism testimonials connecting with Down syndrome. Uh, usapin inclusion para sa kababaihan and there is something, there's another webinar coming up and we also have other activities related to it like Dr. Francis de Malanta appeared on Bawal Judgmental segment on Itbulaga on Jimmy Network last November 5 we also have the wedding of one of our fellow members in has an inclusion named Val Baria and David Mitchell in South Carolina in America. And we also have the um, Bagong Tapang Greetings. Hmm. And the event that we will never forget is this. Nagkaranas kami ng pansamantalang pagsasara noong June 6, 2020. Hindi kami nawala ng pag-asa at biyaya. And this is our legacy, and this is the true taste of one inclusion nation and a one inclusive Philippines. Hands in inclusion will continue to put God first, truth first, people first, and to promote our country's culture and traditions. Hands in inclusion will continue to have other activities in the near future. Regarding the anticipated return of Hands in Inclusion Philippines in the future, 
uh, apart from your patience and understanding, we need your help and prayers for the anticipated return of Hands and Inclusion Philippines in the future and expect to be a formal organization and expect to have a new start. Sa mga nakikipanood sa atin, kaugnay sa pinakahihintay natin ang pagmuling pagbabalik ng Hands and Inclusion sa panghinaharap. Bukod po sa ating pasansya at pangunawa, hiniling namin ang inyong tulong at panalangin sa namang rehilyo ninyo na sana bumalik ang Hands and Inclusion sa panghinaharap bilang isang formal na organisasyon at hiniling ito sa Panginoon. At sana magkaroon tayo ng bagong simula sa organisasyon na ito. Ngayong ikaapat na anibersaryo, may bagong tapang sa One Inclusion Nation, HNI God First. Hmm. Okay, sa mga, kahit sa mga, kay Josan, uh, sa mga nabanggit yung mga pangalan po sa ating, uh, sa mga nakipanood sa atin, uh, salamat po. Kay uh, Gilbert Lago, Jennifer Barrios, Mary Jean Frondosa Lopez, John Reniel Pardilia, Rosemary Ebonia, Jaycepe, Lucery, Lesida Mabilog, James Madrid, Hendrik Dakuyan, and more people. Thank you po. And nagpasalamat ako sa pamilya ko, sa God, sa Hands in Inclusion, kay Roylan, yung, may, yung ating may-ari, yung si Billy, si Cedric, si Christian, si Asher, si Dan Danmar, Archie, PJ, Tara, at iba pa mga kapa kong miyembro ng Hands and Inclusion sa Best Buddies Philippines at Best Buddies Menil sa pamumuno ni Michelle Aventajado, ang kasalukuyang presidente ng Best Buddies Benil na si Joella Laurito, at sa case manager ng Best Buddies Benil na si Martin Romero, nagpasalamat ako sa inyo. Sa mga kapwa kong mga kaibigan ko sa high school at college, magandang gabi po at salamat po. Pam Salamat din sa pamilya ko. Hi! At uh, sana you may continue to support Hands in Inclusion. Sana magkaroon tayo at sana makapagtuloy natin ang ating pagtutulong sa mga taong may kapansanan sa tulong ng poong may kapal. At sana, sana, uh, At sana eh, makapagtulong na tayo sa amin, sa Hands in Inclusion, lalo na ang ating mga merchandise ng Hands in Inclusion. We may want to buy these, the Hands in Inclusion uh, merchandises. And also to... And also nagpasalamat din ako kay... Uh, Ma'am Chiki, Ma'am Gloria, Ma'am Veronica, at saka si... Carmen ng Angat, salamat po. At, at sa mga taong nakikipanood sa atin, pwede maging magandang umaga, magandang hapon, magandang gabi, sa ano ma, saan man sa buong mundo. At sa mga PDAO sa Western Visayas, dagang salamat po. At uh, 
this continue to include us. And as we unite ourselves for one inclusive Philippines and a one inclusive nation. At sana uh, magkaisa tayo at sana maging matagumpay tayo. At dapat nagpasalamat kami sa poong ni Kapal. Na nagbigay kami ng bagong buhay. Sisimula ng bagong simula sa kabila ng ikaapat na anibersaryo ng Hansen Inclusion. Okay, at uh, dapat uh, sana makipagtulungan tayo sa isa't isa at, at sana magkaroon tayo, magiging formal na tayo at anytime soon. Pero please, hining namin sa inyo ng sapat na panahon at taon para masiayos ang pagiging for, formal tayo. Formal ang Hansen Inclusion at mapisado po tayo sa ating mga nakikisipagsubaybay sa atin. Mga ka-inclusion kami, tayo ang Hansen Inclusion. Mga ka-inclusion, maglilingkod tayo sa isa't isa, saan man, hindi lamang dito sa ating bansa, at sa buong mundo. Mga ka-inclusion, patuloy tayo maglilingkod. Okay. May mga pambat, may mga pagbati.
Okay. Na diyan natatapos tayo sa ating the inclusive report. Uh, para sa ngayong Webes, Abril au oh, Abril oh, oh, ikawalo ng Abril taong 2021. Makikita-kita tayo ulit sa Sabado at Linggo. para sa One Inclusion Live Weekend at Editorial. Sa ngalan po ng Hands in Inclusion at Inclu Radio, ako po si Carlos Miguel Kanahashi. Maraming salamat, magandang gabi, pagpalain po tayo ng buong may kapal. Thank you, good night, may God bless us all. Ngayong ikaapat na anibersaryo, May bagong tapang sa One Inclusion Nation. We include our yes. We at Hands in Inclusion include us and include each other. One Inclusion Forever, HNI, God first. Maraming salamat, magandang gabi, at mabuhay. Thank you, bye for now, good night, and enjoy the rest. of the next couple of days and and may God brings us peace and our everlasting peace. Goodbye.